hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big P here, still the voice of hardcore boxing. Please take the next exit onto the A638 toward Wakefield. I'm just going to pick one of my mates up from uh, Wakefield. his first boxing show with me. He's bringing his pal. Oh, just a bit of security work I think. So it's all good isn't it? Uh, right, the predictions. I'm going to go wilder, rounds one to three. Uh, I've been talked out to going, going for round one so I'm just going to go one to three. So, just a cheeky no, exit left. Just a cheeky hundred quid, isn't it? If it comes in, you quid tonight, you bet. I usually feel out rounds, aren't they? I've been looking at a lot of averages for round one now, so all them people who have said round one, round one. But Please turn left. I like to pick around. It's for that three minutes, six, you live it, eight. don't you? It's like an horse race, you know, for, for 20 minutes. Well, for that three minutes, you just live it, so. Now turn left. Right way. Please follow the road for two miles. I'm the only man that can use a sat and get lost. So I'm going to go wild around one to three. If not, I think Tyson just takes him to school over 12 rounds. But there's been a lot of bluff and counter bluff and a lot of things said. But when all said and done, let's get it on because we don't get along. Look, they do get along and the mates and all that, so don't fall for any of that, they don't get along. It's a load of old rubbish. They'll be hugging and kissing after at five. And then they'll be writing scripts for the third one. Because this has been massive, it's been... It's been as big as Lennox Lewis, Mike Tyson. So, you would have to say that... Get in with me, b -man. I ought to turn around and chase after him, doing that. I'll put mine on in a minute, blind him. Uh, lost my train of thought now. Forgot where I am as well. Right, oh yeah. Wilder, think I'm going to go one, one to three. So, oh, it does help if you put your lights on, Russ. Get out. No lights on! There's a thing on this dash that you can set it all to back to factory settings. I've messed about with it overnight, three in the morning. I'm, not, I'm all messed, I'm all blocked up, whatever they call it. I need to get Gibbo to put it back to factory settings. I was trying to be technical because I was bored at 3 a.m. But anyway, Wilder round one to three. That's the big porky prediction. So, all right. Weapon of the week. <laughs> it's no good sending me in your opinions for weapon of the week and, and votes. I will read them, but I go I go with my own instinct for weapon of the week. But I've had loads and loads of emails today for weapon of the week. And the tr everybody's trying to get me to pick this long-haired media guy. Yeah. But there's plenty more weapons to come out between now and Sunday morning. So, alright. So, peace out. Prepare Keep on. Turn left. Turn left. Turn left. <laughs> alright, peace out. <laughs> you liked that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing means a lot to me because uh, we're on this journey together aren't we so anybody got any ideas for the channel fire them over to me porkycorner at mail.com all right shout out to innovation alloys and south yorkshire packaging all right don't forget to subscribe keep on trucking <laughs>